It is important to get an accurate measurement of blood pressure for a diagnosis and management of hypertension or high blood pressure. If the person is in the wrong position or is unprepared, the blood pressure reading can be wrong, possibly by as much as 30 millimeters of mercury, and sometimes by even more. Before measuring someone's blood pressure, make sure they haven't used any tobacco products or had caffeine-rich food or drinks for at least the last 30 minutes. You should also make sure that they don't need to use the restroom and aren't in any pain or discomfort because these factors can also raise the blood pressure. There are five essential steps for measuring blood pressure with any type of device. Step one, make sure that the person is sitting on a chair with their back supported, legs uncrossed, and feet flat on the floor. Step two, choose the correct cuff size for the person whose blood pressure you are measuring. Ideally, you should measure a person's upper arm at the midpoint and choose the indicated cuff size. If this isn't practical, use the range marks on the cuff as your guide. Step three, wrap the cuff around the person's bare arm. For this to happen, an individual may need to take off excess clothing or roll up long sleeves. If a sleeve is rolled up, you must make sure that the sleeve is not too tight on the upper arm because this can make the person's blood pressure appear lower than it really is. In some circumstances, a bare arm may not be practical, and in that case, thin clothing may be acceptable. To place the cuff correctly, find the pulse at the bend in the elbow and make sure you align the arrow on the cuff directly over it. The cuff should be wrapped snugly and fastened with Velcro, with the lower edge about two to three centimeters above the bend at the elbow. There should be enough space to slip two fingers under the bottom edge of the cuff. Step four, place the person's arm on a flat surface, like a table, with the middle of the blood pressure cuff about the same level as the person's heart. With the person's arm supported by the table, they should be relaxed. They should not have to hold their arm. Step five, have the person completely rest for two to five minutes before and during the blood pressure measurement. This is important because talking, texting, and even reading can give a false reading of elevated blood pressure. Taking these five steps each time is necessary for accurate blood pressure measurements. So, Let's recap. Step one, the person should sit in a chair with their back supported, legs uncrossed, and feet flat on the floor. Step two, a correct cuff size should be chosen. Step three, the cuff should be put in the correct position. Step four, the arm should be supported on a flat surface with the middle of the cuff level with the person's heart. And step five, the person should rest quietly for two to five minutes before and during the blood pressure measurement.